Chef Lodge. Today I'm going to give you a lesson in grilled beef satay. Satay is a Southeast Asian uh, category of food which is usually meat on skewers grilled. Oftentimes we'll get chicken satay at like a Thai restaurant or something like that. But I felt like beef today so we're going to take this flank steak and turn it into a wonderful uh, marinated beef satay. We're going to start by marinating the flank steak um, we're going to use a marinade with has some lemongrass and some ginger and some cilantro and sesame oil and some other things which we'll show you in a minute. Um, but first I'm going to put the steak in the freezer uh, for about 30 minutes while I prep some of the other ingredients um, so that it doesn't freeze solid but it just gives a nice stiffness and it's, uh, you can create nice uh, strips. It's easy to cut that way. Um, we'll make the marinade. We'll save some of it as the dipping sauce. Sure, chicken pet satay is often served with peanut sauce and you could do that here too but I like to use the rich um, uh, f flavorful marinade as the dipping sauce when that meat comes off the grill. Here's everything you'll need to make my version of uh, our grilled beef satay. Uh, our liquids are going to be some soy sauce, sesame oil, we're going to spice it with just a little bit of sriracha. If you want more spice than the recipe, you can always slice up some fresh jalapenos and add it to the marinade. That'll give it a great punch. Um, but we're going to have just a little bit of sriracha. Um, we're going to use some ginger, fresh mint, fresh cilantro, a little bit of garlic, some brown sugar, some green onions, and we've got skewers to thread them on. I am going to use wooden ones, so I'm going to soak them in water until I'm ready to thread the meat on there. But if you have metal skewers, that's fine too. The reason you want to just soak the wood ones is so that they don't just char out uh, on the ends when you put them on the grill. Our prep is ready for the marinade. We've got the sesame oil and the soy sauce. I chopped up the mint and the cilantro, the brown sugar, the grated ginger. I just did that on my microplane, um, but you can do it on the box grater or if you don't have any of that, you can um, just chop it really fine. Um, sriracha, lemongrass. Again, there I chopped it really fine. Lemongrass is kind of a woody uh, stalk, so you only want to use the tender parts. Um, and it was really only about that much to get um, the lemongrass for this recipe, but I chopped it up really fine. Garlic and our green onions. We'll make the marinade, slice the meat, and let it sit in the fridge for probably at least two, if not more than four hours before you wanna thread it and get it ready for the grill. See, I'm cutting them at an angle because you want to get more, if I cut them up and straight up and down, you just have a little bit of exposure. This gives your meat a lot more exposure to the marinade and builds that flavor in there. steak has been marinating now and it's time to thread the skewers so we can put them on the grill. Our skewers are ready for the grill. 
Uh, I'm going to turn the grill on to high and I'm going to cook these for about six minutes, about three minutes on each side. You want a little bit of char on the meat, but you don't want to overcook flank steak. If it gets really well done, it gets to be a little bit on the tough side. Then we'll pull them off the grill and uh, drizzle just a little bit of the dipping sauce over the top and serve the rest at the table. Here are finished beef satay skewers. Don't those look great? Oh, and they smell so good. I like to serve them family style. People can just grab a skewer, get a little bit of sauce. There's another cup for it. And put it on both sides of the table. People can just scoop and eat. With this, I serve just a little bit of rice. I stir fry some pea pods or maybe some green beans um, and just keep it really simple and let the beef uh, be the star of the meal. Thanks for tuning into Cooking at Nanook Lodge. And please subscribe if you're enjoying these videos. Mm -hmm.